Hey what's up guys hope you're all doing great finally I came back with a new tutorial sorry for being disappeared for a few months I'm really sorry about that guys but I'm here now I promise to you I will be more active in future and upload more tutorials for you guys by the way thank you so much guys for your all supports we've just hit 1k subs thank you so much for that guys I really appreciate that in today's video I'm going to teach you some transitions for 24k John edits that you uses on his edits and without going any further ado let's get into the tutorial okay guys the first transition that i will teach you is called blur transition it's something like this to create this transition first of all you have to create an adjustment layer cut it 15 frames before the transition also cut it 20 frames after the transition Okay, once you cut your adjustment layer, go to effects and presets panel and search for BCC lens blur and add it into your layer. The first setting we want to change is gamma, put it on 1000. Then open iris and change it to 3 sides. You can also change the rotation as you're liking. Then put a keyframe for iris scale, press U to see the keyframes. Then go to the first frame, put it to 0 and go to the last frame of your adjustment layer and put it on 0. Select all keyframes and hit F9, open up graph editor and just copy my graph. After that search for S underline shake, add it into your layer. Now put a keyframe for amplitude and then put it on 0.85. Go to the first frame, put it on 0 and go to the last frame, put it on 0. Also change the frequency to 10. Select all keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor and copy my graph. And that's it. Okay, the second transition that I will show you is called I don't know it, what it's called but it's a cool and a smooth tra a slight transition it's something like this okay first of all duplicate your layer and cut it on last frame then right click go to time and freeze frame then pre comp the two layers and also do the same thing for the next scene Then create a null object, parent these two layers to the null, and now just do what I do. Then press P to open up position, put a keyframe, and go to the last frame, put another keyframe, and do what I do. Select all keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor and copy my graph. Now go 10 frames forward and cut the layer. Now create a new adjustment layer and cut it. Search for S underline time and just copy my setting. Then go to the first frame, put a keyframe, put it on zero, go 10 frames forward, put it back to 100, go to the end of the layer, go 10 frames back and put it on 100. Then pre compose all the layers, create a new solid. Now cut it 5 frames before and after the transition.
then go to effects and presets panel search for s underline pipeline and now just do what i do Now add a new adjustment layer, go to the first frame and cut it after 10 frames. Now add tint and invert effect. Press T to open opacity, put a keyframe, set it to 0, go to the middle of your layer, put it on 100, copy the first keyframe, and paste it on the last frame. Select all keyframes, press F9, go to graph editors, and copy my graph. Now duplicate your adjustment layer, remove all effects. Add S shake and now just copy what I do. Okay, the next transition that I will teach you is called glitch transitions. It's something like this. Create a new adjustment layer, cut it 15 frames before the transition and 20 frames after the transition. Now search for glitchify. Then put these two on 15, add keyframes, go to the first frame and put them on 0, select all keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor and copy my graph. Then search for S underline shake effect and copy my settings. Then add a new solid layer and for the color choose red. Press T, put a keyframe, go to the first frame, put it on 0, go to the last frame and put it on 0. Select all keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor and copy my graph. And after that press on this button, put the blend mode on overlay. Okay guys, the last transition I will teach you is this glitch transition. Okay, first of all, create a new adjustment layer, then cut it 20 frames before and after the transitions. Then go to the effects and presets panel search for BCC cross glitch. Add it to your layer. Put glitch intensity to 100 and also intensity C to 100. Put a keyframe, go to the first frame, put it on 0, go to the last frame and again set it on 0. Select all keyframes, hit F9. After that search for glitchify. Put glitchify amount to 15 and put a keyframe for this two. Go to the first frame, put them on 0. Go to the last frame and set them to 0. Select all keyframes and press F9. Go to graph editor and copy my graph. Then go to the effects and presets panel search for hue sat bright. 
Guys, also make sure to turn off the color glitch on the glitch file. After you add this effect, set a keyframe for this option and choose a dark red color. Go to the first frame. Select all keyframes and press F9. After that, add a underline shake effect. Select all keyframes and just copy my graph. After that, create a new adjustment layer. Cut it 20 frames before the transition and 10 frames after the transition. Put this new adjustment layer under the previous one. Search for invert effect. Add it into your layer. And just copy what I do. And that's it. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Again, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next tutorial.